Kingdom Hearts 3 held many secrets, surprises, and keys to the future, but one aspect from this heavily anticipated title shocked the world and is still talked about to this very day and has many fans inside and outside the Kingdom Hearts fandom primed for the future, and that is the concept of Varum Rex. But it's not just the promise of the new for the second phase of the series, it is the striking familiar air of a project that many considered has long lost its original true vision. And that concept is Final Fantasy Versus 13. Today, we are going to explore the troubled development of this would-be Final Fantasy spin-off and how its true concepts may find a new life once more and a second chance in the future of Kingdom Hearts. While Kingdom Hearts may be considered his premier project, well-known and beloved video game designer Tetsuya Nomura has been a part of many gaming ventures throughout his career at Square Enix and beyond. Starting as a debugger for Final Fantasy IV, Nomura went on to become a designer for many projects inside and outside the company, eventually becoming the lead character designer for the legendary game Final Fantasy VII among other various contributions to the title. He then went on to become the director, writer, and designer of the Kingdom Hearts series. After the rapid success of the now beloved franchise, Nomura had his eyes set on another opportunity he was given to share a darker vision, but that vision would never see the light of day in its original form, or perhaps it will. This vision was the project known as Final Fantasy vs. 13 a spin-off of the Final Fantasy series that was deeply connected to Final Fantasy XIII through a collection of efforts known as the Fabula Nova Crystallis compilation, where various games and stories were brought together and would share a common mythos. This game was originally intended for the PlayStation 3 and began development in 2006 by the team responsible for the Kingdom Hearts series. The title originally was positioned to use the Crystal Tool Engine, a proprietary engine used by Square Enix for the Final Fantasy XIII games, Dragon Quest X, and the ill-fated original incarnation of Final Fantasy XIV. Nomura was overseeing development as the original director, designer, concept, and scenario writer. As it was meant to be a darker entry in the Final Fantasy series, the project's scale and ambition was so massive that many fans and analysts were wondering that it should be repurposed as the next mainline entry of the franchise. However, the game unfortunately suffered from a prolonged and dubious development cycle and the concept of Verse 13 only reached about 20-25% to of completion. It was when the PS4 and the Xbox One was unveiled that a massive shakeup occurred with the game's identity. The game was shifted from the PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One due to technical issues. The engine was swapped with Square Enix's new proprietary engine, the Luminous Engine, and the entire development team was reshuffled and development started over again with co-director Hajime Tabata taking over as director and Tetsuya Nomura leaving the project in 2013, opting to direct his focus on continuing his other projects that would include the heavily anticipated Kingdom Hearts 3. This led to the reveal of a rebranded project. No longer was the game Final Fantasy vs 13, it was now Final Fantasy 15. While Square Enix and Tabata claims the title tried to remain as true to Nomura's original vision as possible, various glaring differences became apparent, such as the original story's introduction, the new main heroine in the Luna Freya being based off and replacing Stella, as well as greatly downplaying and reducing any connections to the Fabula Nova Crystallis collection, instead favoring to build a whole universe around this specific game, and thus, for a time, the world mourned the loss of Versus 13. Fast forward to 2019 with the release of Kingdom Hearts 3. Many fans were greatly anticipating this title, and many in turn greatly enjoyed the experience as the final chapter of the Dark Seeker saga. However, one concept that found its way into the game was that of an extremely apparent contrast that had many fans reminded 
of a certain project that was thought to only have existed purely in the limbo of our hearts. When entering the Toy Story world known as Toy Box, we are greeted by a wildly impressive and immersive mock-up video game trailer for a game known as Verum Rex. This was a video game that apparently existed within the world of Toy Box, in which the character Rex was an avid fan and player of. However, this trailer featured a character that closely resembled the main character of Final Fantasy XV and, in extension, the original Final Fantasy Vs. XIII project, Noctis Lucius Kylum. This character was known as Yazora. Other characters shown in the trailer had remarkable resemblances to other characters from the Verse 13 turned 15 title. This included Aegis, who resembled both Ignis and Gladio, as well as Magia, that resembled both Prompto and Arden, also including an unknown character who will later be identified as someone resembling Stella Knox Floret. Not to mention that the weaponry and fighting styles were very Final Fantasy 15 Verse 13 esque. This had piqued many players' interest, but at the time, it was briefly disregarded as simply an easter egg placed in the game by Nomura. But all of that changed very quickly. In the wake of the information superhighway known as the internet, Nomura posed to release the staple additional endings of Kingdom Hearts 3 internationally a couple of days after the game's release in order to bottleneck spoilers and hype. This included the epilogue known as Lost Masters and the unlockable secret movie. This secret movie was named Yozora and presumably showed the events after Sora's disappearance at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3. As Sora and Riku awoke in an unknown city, it became quickly apparent that Sora was located in a setting inspired by Shibuya Tokyo Japan, while Riku was situated in Shinjuku Tokyo Japan. As the movie ended, an unknown entity is revealed to be watching over Riku. It was Yazora, prompting Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy fans to come together to the realization that not only Yazora was much more than an easter egg in the Kingdom Hearts series, but speculated to be the catalyst to the revival of the original Versus 13 project through the identity of Verm Rex. But this was only the beginning. For a whole year, fans debated and theorized on the possibility of seeing the true nature of the Lost Verse 13 within that of Kingdom Hearts, and the connection between the similarities of Yozora and Noctis, as well as Verum Rex and Verse 13. All the while, Nomura coyly downplaying and denying any possible connection, stating that since the project never saw the live day, that only he and a few key others would truly know if there is such a connection. And then we come to the follow-up of Kingdom Hearts 3 in its massive DLC expansion known as Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, that offered more modes of play, additional challenges, gameplay options, equipment, and super bosses, as well as a substantial post-game story. It is in this final offering of this DLC known as the Secret Episode we truly see the fate of Sora after disappearing at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3. He awakens in a nighttime version of the final world, all alone and seeking out any who would answer his call. And the one to indeed end up answering his call was none other than the mysterious Yozora, the entity of pivotal focus for the new saga of Kingdom Hearts. After what is perhaps the most grueling encounter in the series history, two outcomes are possible, one in which Sora is victorious and the other in which Sora is defeated. But in both endings, a very specific callback to what was thought to be a lost concept is brought forth from beyond the curtain and its front and center. When Yazora defeats Sora, Sora is crystallized by an unknown force but is somewhat familiar. After Yozora returns to the final world in Sora's place, he closes his eyes and then awakens in the backseat of a luxurious car, seemingly lamenting his encounter and stating while he has been having these weird thoughts lately, nothing seemed to make sense to him. When Sora is victorious, Yozora claims his powers are not quite needed yet, and although Sora returns to the final world, 
Yazora is awoken by his driver, who seems incredibly familiar to longtime Kingdom Hearts fans. As Yazora looks out the car, Sora is the one that states that none of this made sense to him. As the game finally comes to a close, we are promised an oath to return from Kingdom Hearts. When looking at the dual endings of Kingdom Hearts through Remind, Final Fantasy fans will quickly realize that this is a very apparent recreation of the 2011 trailer for Final Fantasy vs. 13, with Yazora taking Noctis' place. The car, the movement, almost everything is one to one, and the association between the two concepts of Varum Rex and vs. 13 has now become incredibly blatant despite the words of Tetsuya Nomura. The connections between that of these two entities has continued to grow with each new development and watchful eyes from fans, but according to Tetsuya Nomura, when speaking on Verum Rex and its supposed inspiration from what he addresses as another title, he states when asked about Yazora and the inclusion of Verum Rex in Kingdom Hearts 3 and these comparisons, Nomura states, you wouldn't be the first to think so. Right now, there's a lot of speculation about that because of the clear resemblance of what was shown of Versus. However, the two are actually very different, and I think where your Zora story will lead will be unexpected. So why did Verum Rex appear in Kingdom Hearts 3? None of this makes sense, but I hope to clear it all up as soon as possible. He also goes on to state, while the concepts may have overlapped, from one to the other that only I know the full story behind Versus 13 and Varum Rex. However, the two are completely different and I think an unexpected development is occurring. But even with these statements, fans are sure that Nomura is planning a grander scheme with reviving his original vision of Versus 13 in untold ways for the future of Kingdom Hearts by using Kingdom Hearts 3 as a catalyst this combined with the troubled development and final product of Final Fantasy XV being described as not true to its original intent has led multiple facets of the fandoms to dubbing this saga of events as Namora's Revenge. Whether if the designer's true intent is going in line with this designation may never truly be known. Looking at the concepts of Yazora and Verum Rex's identity introduced within that of Kingdom Hearts, there are multiple notable comparisons to that of Versus 13 that have become more and more clear over time. Yazora's character harkens back to the various stages of Noctis' own design, not only in physical appearance, but in name as well. Noctis Kylum's name translates to Night Sky in Latin, while Yazora's translates to Night Sky in Japanese something that draws even more inspiration and association to Nomura's work on Kingdom Hearts to Versus 13 is that Nomura has gone on record stating that Noctis was originally envisioned to be a character polar opposite to that of Sora, not only in name but in design and personality as well, and it definitely seems like this idea is being revisited in grand ways with Yazora. This makes sense, as not only the original project of Versus 13 was led by Nomura and his team responsible for Kingdom Hearts, but the game was envisioned to borrow various elements of gameplay popularized and refined by the Kingdom Hearts series, especially Noctis' flashy and high-octane playstyle, which is once again highlighted in Yazora's own portrayal of abilities in the Verum Rex trailer and Secret Boss, as well as his weaponry fitting the Versus 13 motif. Continuing these comparisons, the Kingdom of Lucius, notably the capital Insomnia, was originally directly inspired by modern day Tokyo, with areas lifted from the Shibuya district as well as being built to mimic that of Shinjuku. This inspiration was retained from Versus 13 into 15, with the Royal Citadel being modeled after the Tokyo Government Metropolitan Building, and it is in Kingdom Hearts 3 that we see that inspiration continue to thrive, as in the secret movie, Yazora, Sora, and Riku wake up in the midst of interpretations of Shibuya and Shinjuku respectively, culminating with Yazora sitting on top of the Government Metropolitan Building in Shinjuku and battling Sora on top of the 104 building in Remind, which would be the 109 building in real life. This point is really driven home not only by what we see, but also what we hear, 
as when Riku decides to explore Shinjuku and the camera pans to reveal Yuzora, a rendition of Somnus begins to play, which was the main theme of Versus 13 and Final Fantasy 15, a beloved piece that was composed by longtime Kingdom Hearts music composer Yoko Shimomura and the lyrics written by Tetsuya Nomura himself. While the comparative details from Versus 13 have been the main source of speculation, there are other flavors of relation that have found their way into the concept of Verum Rex and the ideas surrounding Yazora. This includes the character designs as mentioned before, but diving deeper also brings other mythos connected to Versus 13 front and center. This includes the name of Verum Rex, which translates to True King from Latin. This is a very important story element from Final Fantasy XV, meant to adorn Noctis with this title as the one to purge the Star Scourge from Eos. Yuzora's eyes have also been a point of conversation, as his heterochromia is inferred to Noctis' original ability to see death in Versus 13, with one of Yuzora's eyes being blue and the other being red. Additionally, Sora becoming a crystal in the secret ending tied to his loss had many initially perplexed, but now has equally as many viewing this as an interpretation of a well-known concept from Fabula Nova Crystallis, particularly the Final Fantasy XIII games known as Focus. Within Final Fantasy XIII, supernatural higher beings known as False Seas give missions to individuals that become known as Lusseas. These missions are known as a focus. When a Lussie achieves their focus, they enter a state of crystal stasis. In time, Lussies can be awakened from their crystal slumber in order to be given a new focus, thus achieving a form of immortality. However, should a Lassie be unable to achieve the focus in time, they transmutate into monsters known as a Seath. Sora becoming a crystal had many fans interpret this as Sora somehow achieving a focus, which will go in line with the motif being derived from Fabula Nova Crystallis, a shared collection of works that originally included Versus 13, and this idea would answer some questions, which would include Yuzora's apparent need to save Sora, but would also give rise to new ones in thinking about the supposed integrations and interpretations of Falsies and Lassies, which would also possibly hint at the arrival of lightning in the future of Kingdom Hearts, especially given how Lightning Returns ended. As the future marches forward for Kingdom Hearts with the identity of Quadratum, Yuzora, and Verumrex clear as the night sky, one must wonder what Tatsuya Nomura truly has in store for the games within that of Phase 2, and how much of Verse 13 will live on in this series. Many aspects from the Kingdom Hearts series has tied into the original vision of Verse 13's narrative design and gameplay choices, but with the loss of that title, if you will look at various games from Kingdom Hearts, you can see little by little various ideas from what we knew about Verse 13 make their way into the Kingdom Hearts games, apparently culminating to the point of true revival in Kingdom Hearts 3. With the blatant possibility of Yuzora becoming an incredibly important character moving forward in the series, just like secret bosses Xemnas, Terra, and young Xehanort before him, the original vision from Tetsu Nomura of Verse 13 may finally emerge from the darkness of the night sky and see the light of day despite what the Square Enix designer claims. On the side of reality surrounding the possibility of a Verum Rex game or the entity being integrated into Kingdom Hearts 4 among others, the idea of a lost or a transformed identity can be interpreted as quite meta due to the handling of Final Fantasy XV and the apparent freedom that Disney grants Tetsuya Nomura in crafting the Kingdom Hearts games. There are those that believe that it is this freedom and respect between Disney and Tetsuya Nomura that forced Square Enix's hand in developing this concept beyond that of a cancelled idea, but this can all be written off as conjecture, as unless one of the parties involved confirms anything of the sort, we will never know beyond the curtain. The initial design of Versus 13 from the mind of Tetsuya Nomura had many flavors in mind from Kingdom Hearts, as stated before, 
So to integrate what Nomura was originally planning into a series he has full control over would be more than just second nature and will allow this narrative and gameplay aspects to thrive beyond that of a cameo or altered appearance that the Final Fantasy characters within the series are known for. Yazora and Quadratum are now on the other side of reality of Kingdom Hearts, an unreality untold until now.